Well, my interest in photography was not a lifelong one. Um, it was, I've only started taking photographs in the last three, nearly four years. Um, before that, I was working in Belfast. I was working in human resources. I have a background in psychology, social psychology and forensic psychology, which is quite different from photography. Uh, but about three, four years ago, I um, lifted up a camera and the rest is history. My style of photography is difficult to describe. It's, I suppose, the some of the common things that uh, run through it is that it's almost always black and white. It's usually um, cringe when I uh, think about this description, but it's, it usually falls under the category of street photography. Most of the subjects that I uh, capture are unaware that I take their photograph. Um, it's called candid photography. Pioneers of the uh, of that type of style are, um, of course, Gary Winogrand, uh, Henry Cartier-Bresson, Walker Evans, of course, and uh, probably William Klein, who uh, I would all rate as big influences on my style of photography. I chose street photography over other types of photography because um, I find other... I've tried oh, most different types of photography, um, and I just find that Street photography is uh, more of a challenge. Um, it's unplanned, it's a little bit chaotic. Um, I don't like landscape photography. I tried it, didn't like it. Um, I don't find any of it interesting. But uh, street photography is, is a challenge and it's you have to think on your feet and you have to have a very, very good eye and uh, you have to be very quick and it just suits my nature, I suppose. My exhibition at the alley is, um, well, it's 80 photographs. Uh, they're all black and white. They're all subjective documents um, taken obviously by myself. Uh, the title of the exhibition is Hiding in Plain Sight. Most of the photographs were taken in my hometown which is Straban but some of the photographs are taken in several countries uh, such as Switzerland, Poland, uh, France. I like to get around but uh, most, uh, I mean, there are some towns that you might recognize, like Bondoran, um, Derry, but most of them, as I said, are taken in Straban. I, I like all of my photographs. Uh, that's important to note, or else I wouldn't have been exhibiting them. But I, I have to say that the one of the photographs that I like a lot uh, is the photograph of the little boy in the box, with he's wearing a mask, and there's a man, uh, a gentleman, uh, beside him. Um, standing beside him in a lovely tailored coat uh, with a hat on and I really like that photograph because it's it's very ambiguous you don't know you're left wondering like all very good photographs uh, it's it's you could think about it and look at it it's quite sinister in some regards I took that photograph before uh, Halloween in 2008 I was walking down the street with my camera um, between the Richmond Centre and Foyleside and I noticed this scene being set up. I knew that it was like most of the scenes I photographed, they last a very short time. Um, so I dashed across the street um, with my camera and snapped it as quick as I could without anybody noticing and off I went. And it wasn't until a couple of weeks later when I looked at the photograph on my computer and I realized I had a cracker. A lot of the photographers that I admire have continued with the Henry Cartier-Bresson, uh, what he is most famously known for, is his decisive moment. Um, all Most photographers have heard of this concept, it's a very familiar one. Um, uh, Gary Winogrand, uh, I think, successfully applied it to his own environment, and but it did it in his own way. I know that I'm doing, uh, I'm carrying on that tradition um, by putting four walls around a scene and capturing it, but doing it in a way that you is a reflection of your own heart or being and uh, that's what sort of makes it art but you have to trust your eye and that is what I'm doing. In the future I would like to use this exhibition as a stepping stone to future exhibitions as well as ideally I would like to publish a book of photographs. Um, I find that publishing, exhibiting are, a great, are great feathers in the caps of photographers and um, Ultimately, um, I would love to join the photographic agency Magnum, which is the holy grail for all serious photographers. Well, that would be perfect.